Hey guys, okay, I'm set up here with uh, my iPad and my M600 and a computer. And I am just going to document all my settings so you guys can check them out and see if anything raises a flag. All right, everything's booted up. As you can see, I've got this flight safety warning. Just gonna click through that, click OK. Now you can see the aircraft status. Everything looks good, everything looks normal. Radio uh, channel quality is poor. Gimbal's not connected, but we are indoors, so I expect radio issues indoors. Redundancy state, history. As you can see, I'm logged in as me, and I'm also connected to the internet. So obviously we're on the internet because I'm getting getting a map that and I haven't cached this map. So let's run through the settings. General settings. Cache video. Clear cache automatically. We have warnings. Alright, as you can see. Uh, some of the warnings I received, max flight distance reach, adjust in main controller settings if necessary. I'll show you later that the max flight limitations are turned off. So after going through all of the warnings, I can tell you there's nothing in there that raises a flag. It just says max flight altitude reach, adjust in main controller set settings. That's really the only warning that I received, uh, takeoff and P mode. You know, I attempted to fly in Addy mode, and I got some warnings about that. Nothing here is raising a flag. In the main controller settings, enable max distance. That's turned off. It's on. It's set for 5,000 meters. Obviously, that is what I thought was stopping me before. Advanced settings. Sensitivity gain. Sensors. Sensors look normal. Even the compass looks normal indoors. It's kind of amazing. Uh, gains. Automatic landing gears turned off. Turn on front LEDs. Disable landing gear auto lock is not enabled. So let's go to the controller. Well, control settings, coach mode is not on. Uh, I think we're using type 2 or mode 2, stick mode. I haven't calibrated the uh, controller yet, but it's been working just fine, so I haven't had any problems with the controller. Um, HD is irrelevant. Batteries are good. So here we are again in the general settings. advanced settings. Let's go back here. So here are the main controller settings. Enable max distance which we already explored. So there you are gentlemen. There are all my settings. All right let's explore the assistant two settings. I think you guys can see that okay right? So we're at the current uh, firmware, we're good there. Settings here. I forget this isn't a touch screen. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get out of light bridge. Going at 600 Pro settings. So there's basic settings. Everything looks good. Antenna offset. Tools. SDK. Now the software development kit, I really haven't uh, touched anything in there and I don't think I should, but I'm going to just leave this up on the screen for a second so you can look at everything. And of course, you can always pause your, there you go, you can always pause your screen. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Battery manager, everything looks fine. Firmware update. 
we've got the latest greatest as you can see simulator flight data